Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a while since I uploaded. I went to Gaga, she was absolutely incredible by the way. Unbelievable, like insane. Then I've been trying to deal with work and stuff before I went away to Orlando for two weeks. So it's just been a lot. There's been a lot going on. Not to mention there was heat waves for like weeks in the UK, we had 37 degrees. I could not film, like I couldn't. I tried, I sat down one day, filmed, and all you could do was over me because the fan was literally like here. Like it was like right next to me. But I am back, it's coming up to autumn. I feel as though like there's so much more to do when it comes to autumn. Like there's just tons of idea videos you can do, I think, when it comes to autumn. But I am back. I would just also like to say welcome to all the new subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. I've had a little influx in subscribers, so hello, welcome. I was lucky enough to be invited to the new Gucci beauty stand in the new flannel shop in town which is Liverpool city centre by the way for anyone not from Liverpool and Paige invited me down and was kind enough to gift me some products and I thought why not give them a review so we have a lipstick we have an eyeliner cold pencil and we also have a mascara. So we're just gonna get straight into the video. So we're gonna start reviewing some of the Gucci Beauty products. So this is the gift bag, I got them all in. I just felt like this deserved a little shout out because it's absolutely stunning. I think that's the difference when you go to obviously designer, they do do their bags really, really nice. Don't get me wrong, I don't hold on to them, but there is something about having a nice bag to carry your products in. We all know what it's like but these do end up just going in the bin. That's the other thing. But there's just something about having a nice bag. What I did think this did have ribbon on it to tie it together, but I've used the ribbon for something else at the moment. But um, I do think if you are to buy a gift from a, a designer brand, when you get it in a bag like this, it doesn't need to be wrapped. That's it done. It's sort of presented in itself. So I do think that's the one good thing about you know, brands like this. Products we're gonna talk about today are these three. Now these did come in boxes. I took them to Florida thinking I'd have time to review while I'm in Florida, use them and everything like that. And I was wrong. I was done in every single night when we went for food. It was the most, I didn't even wear makeup, I'm not gonna lie. I think I put makeup on about three times the whole time I was there. So I did take them, they got battered in the suitcase. And so I haven't got the boxes anymore. But the first thing I wanna review is this. This is the Gucci Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick. This is in shade Janet Rust. Is that right? Janet Rust. One, the packaging is stunning. I do expect packaging to be stunning when it's designer because of the price. The packaging has to be nice because I'm paying for it. So I expect it to be beautiful. I expect it to be beautiful. I'm loving this. So this is what it looks like. When we take it out, let's just pop a little. It is a gorgeous red brown shade that, well, perfect because it's awesome now and I live for red brown shades. Now, I'm not gonna use a lip liner with this today. I normally would, but I'm not gonna because I want you to see the true color of the lipstick. It has a slight fragrance. It's gliding on really well it's definitely matte but that's really smooth now i would prefer to use this as with a lip liner but for the purpose of this video i want you to see it all on its own That is gorgeous. That feels really nice. Put it on straight away. It doesn't feel drying. I didn't prep this either. I wanted to see what it was like going straight onto the skin. It's drying nice. It's not bitty and it doesn't feel like it's like, <sniffs> you know, like how a liquid mac can feel. Yeah, I'm interested to see how this works. Up to now, that feels lovely. Next, I want to review this product. So this is the Gucci Stylo Contour. Okay, that's fun. So let me change that. The Long Lasting Coal Liner in Amethyst. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so that's it on the back of my hand. I am going to put this on my waterline first. And then I'm going to like put some underneath. What I will say is I'm absolutely loving this rubber 
end that they do so you can get a good grip of your pencil. Okay, so not as much as pays off as I'd like it to straight away. So that's it on my waterline. It's pretty, it is. I wish it was a little bit more, but it's pretty. Let's have a little go on the skin underneath. Okay, so it's gone onto the skin a lot easier than it has on the waterline, which obviously coal isn't what you normally put in your waterline. You normally put coal on your skin to smudge it out because coal will seep on your waterline. But I thought, why not utilise the product and see what it's like? Okay, it is actually gorgeous when used on the skin. Faces I pull. Okay, that's without smudging it, so let's see how it smudges. Oh, it smudges pretty easy, actually. It's not as, like, smoky as I'd like it to be, but it's smoky. I do think that colour is stunning, especially on blue eyes. Like, I love purple on blue eyes and green eyes, and mine are, like... I don't even know what shape my eyes are. They change colour all the time. So that is absolutely lovely. I do really like the colour. I really like the way it's applied. Do I think I could smudge a little bit better? Yeah. But let's see how it wears will be the interesting factor. What I will say is I don't normally use coal on my waterline because obviously it's made to smudge and it's made to move. But when you pay a little bit more for the product, I do like to see if we can utilise it. Basically use it for different things and if it'll work. So why not? So this is the last product we're gonna to review today. This is the Gucci Beauty Mascara. This is a three mil travel size and this is the packaging. Really pretty, very Gucci styling. You know, they tend to stick with that like blushy pink, gold, very old style vintage packaging, which I think is stunning. It's nice to see a brand being vintage rather than modern. I prefer all that where the, you know, the, the makeup feels luxurious before you've even put it on. It's a treat. Um, but let's see if it works because you know I'm always on the hunt for a good mascara. Like, I am fussy when it comes to mascaras and I will probably ridicule a designer a lot more than I will ever ridicule a more drugstore brand because of the price tag that comes with them. So I expect this to be pretty good already. My expectations are higher due to the price point and also the fact that it's Gucci Beauty and you have the money and the resources to make a good mascara. With that simple. being said, let's apply it. This is the wand. So I actually really like this type of wand. It goes from thick to thin. It's got little bristles on the end. It's not very bendy, but it's got a little bit of give to it. I would have preferred it to be a bit more flexible just because I think you can get in there a little bit more, a little bit more comfortable comfortable on the eyelashes. But up to now, I do like the wand and it feels nice to hold, even though it's a travel size one that I've got. I'm gonna do my bottoms first. Ooh. Okay, that was one go. And they're done. Okay. Up to now, Gucci. You're doing well. Let's do the top ones. I'm not going to re-dip it in. I'm just going to see how it applies. Now, I have done a lash lift for my holidays. So, I won't be curling them with a curler. Because I don't need to. And that's off one application. I like it. Up to now, I like it. That was one application. I feel like that looks nice on my eyes. It's applied really nicely. They haven't clumped. It's dark. They look longer. They look fuller. Yeah, I'm liking this up to now. I know I have little bits that sit on my lid there, but that happens all the time. That's... I know I have little bits that sit on my lids. That's just the way my eyelashes curl up and touch the skin. There's nothing I can do about that. But I'm not going to apply any more and I'm just going to go straight in. Oh, I should have done my bottoms first. Whoops. Without seeing if I could add any more to the brush. I 
I still haven't re-dipped this brush burden in mind. I like it. I hate to like really expensive mascaras, I really do. But up to now, I like it. I've got to see how it wears first. I hope this wears well because, yeah. Still not gonna dip it back in. Oh, just cock that up. If this ever happens on your skin, always leave it to dry and then brush it away. Always wait, give it at least like 15 minutes if you can. Always wait for it to go bone dry and then wipe it away. I'm loving that up to now. I can't believe that was dipped in once and taken out and it's done all my eyes. Like that has gone on gorgeous. Gorgeous. So that's up to now. I'm gonna be honest, I think this mascara is lovely. I'm really liking the purple liner and the lipstick has really impressed me up to now. It's applied really nice. It doesn't feel like I've got anything on which is lovely because liquid matte lipsticks can be a little bit much sometimes, but this feels lovely. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like I've got anything on. So this, I will let you know how many times I reapply. So it is now 11 in the morning and I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna have coffee, I'm gonna eat something and I'll let you know how the lipstick wears throughout the day. And I'll try and get little videos in between to let you know. But if not, I will always be honest and say if I applied it six, seven, eight, nine times, how did it look after food? If I don't get them video, if I don't, if I don't get that video footage. As for the mascara, I am really pleasantly surprised. I think they've, it's gone on gorgeous. It's really worked well with my lashes. I don't feel like I've got any enough. I will come back to you later and let you know how I went. And I'm back. back. So we are all done. It's been six hours since I applied all of this. I have been out to a copy shop, copy shop? Coffee shop to see me friends. So I had some dinner with her, a few coffees, quite a lot of water. So the lipstick and everything has definitely been put to the test. Now, what I wanna say is we're gonna talk about the lipstick first and then the eyeliner and then the mascara. So, first up is the liquid lipstick. So, I am gonna insert some footage now. What I'm gonna say is this lipstick stays on perfectly fine until you eat something. With my coffees, I did notice I had a little what looked like a straw stain on the lipstick but it was okay and what i did notice when i ate it it didn't seem to like go bitty or anything like that it just faded it stayed on the top till i reapplied for whatever reason it stayed really well on the cupid's bow area what i will say though is it feels lovely and i will take fading over it feeling lovely and i will allow a lipstick to fade if it feels nice because the thing about lipstick is too many of them you can apply them first go round and then when you reapply they start getting bitty they start breaking down they just don't feel nice whereas with this it's gone, gone on, on again really really nice i think it's really smooth it's really soft it's very velvety it's not drying as much as i thought it would do honestly think this gucci beauty liquid lipstick is a really good lipstick. I'd actually buy more from them because of how it felt. It did fade, but then most of my other lipsticks fade. I haven't got one lipstick that doesn't fade. I really, really did like it. Second product is the Gucci Beauty Coal Liner. So I'm gonna bring myself a little bit closer. So this is what it looks like right now. Obviously it didn't stay on the waterline. I didn't expect it to stay on the waterline. Like I said, coal isn't made for the waterline, but I just wanted to see if maybe it has a little bit more grip than we're giving it credit for, and it didn't. It did not stay on the waterline, it seeped. As you can see, just a little bit there, that's the product I, I think was on my waterline. That, that's what normally happens when something can't stay on the waterline, it seeps to the outer edges. By the way, still have bits on my hand. <laughs> Couldn't get it off in time before, me, before I went out. But I do think it seeped ever so slightly there. The bit underneath has stayed nice and coloured, and it's pretty much you know, not far off what it was. It has faded, but not drastically. Do I think I would purchase this product? 
Probably not because I do think it's a little bit pricey for a cold pencil. However, I do love that application. So I think if you struggle to hold anything, that selling point with the rubber would definitely be something I would definitely recommend to people if you maybe don't like have a good hold on things. Maybe you've got hand problems or anything. I do think that helps a little bit. Like I don't need to hold onto it as tight. I do like the fact that it is a twisty. You seem to get, I'm scared every time to do stuff like this. You do get quite a bit. The colour is lovely. Even my friend when I met up with you, I got that colour's gorgeous on your eyes. So it got me a compliment. Um, but I just think for a cold pencil, it's a little bit pricey, but it definitely does smudge pretty well. But yeah, I do think it stayed pretty well. It just obviously didn't stay in the waterline, but it's a cold pencil, it went good. Last but not least is the mascara. So this, I've just been up close. Mascara has stayed. Definitely, I would give this nine out of 10 because it's a little bit pricier for the price it is, but I love it. I definitely would buy this. It's worked great on me there's no crumbling there's no transfer it still stayed dark is there anything that i can't um let me just see a little bit closer i'm just gonna really scrutinize it because as i said it's designer and i do oh little bit there's nothing there is there a little smidge there and i mean a little oh wait hang on there's the tiniest flecks of black here that I didn't see. Now, I can't guarantee that that is mascara because it's in my eyebrow, so I don't know how it's got there. But other than that, yeah. I really like this mascara. I would definitely, definitely, definitely give this a purchase. You might be able to ask if you can buy any sample sizes to see if you like it. Sometimes designer brands do do that. I'm not too sure. But this mascara is really nice. And it is really light. It doesn't feel crunchy, like, at all. And I really thought it would. The fact that it went on in one big go, it's, it, yeah, I really, really like this. I hope you've liked the video, guys. And it's been interesting to do a more higher-end video because I haven't done one in a long time. I've been doing more budget-friendly. But it was really enjoyable to do a high-end designer brand. So I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.